right now. And that is to obey your parents. And, and parents, y'all hear me. We have to teach our children to respect authority. We have to teach our children to respect authority. It is not the school's job to teach your children to respect authority. It's not even the church's job to teach your children to respect authority. It's your job to teach your children to respect authority. Because as long as they live, they will always be under somebody's authority. And the first authority they must learn to respect and excel is the authority of their parents. We have to teach them to do right. We have to teach them to obey. Number one, write this down. Teach them the difference between right and wrong. Teach them the difference between right and wrong. And let God's word determine what's right. And let God's word determine what's wrong. Not the Supreme Court. Not Oprah Winfrey, who don't have any children. Help me somebody. Not Dr. Phil. Not Hollywood. But let God's word determine what's right and what's wrong. Matter of fact, they used to sing a song back in the day. The Bible is right. Somebody wrong. We have to teach them the difference between right and wrong. And then number two, teach them to do right. Now that you know the difference between right and wrong, do the right thing. And then number three, you teach them when you do wrong. There are consequences. That's what the penitentiary is for. That's what the jail is for. You do wrong, there's consequences. That's what STDs are about. There are consequences for doing wrong. So number one, be right by obeying your parents. And parents, we have to teach our children to obey. Notice, y'all, you don't have to teach children to do wrong. They don't do that. They gotta teach them to do wrong. That's automatic. We were born in sin and shaping in iniquity. And sin did my mother conceive me. You don't have to teach them to do wrong. They gonna do that. You have to teach children to do right. So number one, children, be right by obeying your parents. And parents, teach your children to respect. Police tell you, put your hands up, put your hands up. A lot of these shoes didn't have to hit them. If they were just respecting authority. You feel like you're being mistreated, tell them when you get home. But don't deal with them in the streets, that's taking their territory. Teach them to respect. Be right by obeying your parents. Number two, write this down. Be respectful in honoring your parents. Be respectful in honoring your parents. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And then it says, honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment of the promise, and it may go well with you, and that you may live a long life. So be respectful in honoring your parents. Now in the Greek, that word honor is a continuous action. Which means you are to honor them as long as you live or as long as they live. Because watch this now, children will one day reach an age when they move out where they don't have to obey their parents anymore. I have three children, I don't even try to tell them what to do no more. 30, 27, 
and 21. They need some advice, they come to me. But I don't tell them what to do no more. Because they've reached an age now where they don't have to obey me. But you never reach an age where you don't have to respect me. I'm preaching, y'all ain't saying that to you. You never reach an age where you don't have to obey me, but you'll never reach an age where you don't have to honor me. Honor! Your father and your mother, now make a note of this. There are two stages of honor. The first stage of honor is you honor them by doing what they tell you to do. Yeah. You live in their house. You under their roof. You drinking water, they pay for. You enjoy electricity, they pay for. You enjoy enemies, they pay for. You honor them by doing what they tell you to do. That's the first stage. But then here's the second stage of honor. Honor your parents by doing what they need you to do. First stage, honor your parents by doing, by doing what they tell you to do. The second stage, honor them by doing what they need you to do. They took care of you when you couldn't take care of yourself. Your turn. Your turn to take care of them now that they can't take care of themselves. They fed you when you couldn't feed yourself. Your turn. You got to feed them now that they having trouble feeding them th themselves. They helped you walk when you couldn't walk by yourself. They helped them walk now that they can't walk by themselves. Y'all ain't playing with me. They dressed you when you couldn't dress yourself. Now you ought to dress them now that they can't dress themselves. They changed you when you couldn't change yourself. Now it's your turn to help change them when they can't change their diaper. Y'all ain't playing with me. It is not the nursing home's sole responsibility to take care of your parents. First Timothy 5 and 8, he who doesn't take care of his family, his relatives, is worse than an infidel. Don't tell me you saved and sanctified and full of the Holy Spirit and you ain't taking care of your mama. Don't tell me you saved and sanctified full of the Holy Spirit and you ain't taking care of your dad. I pray for the folk at the nursing home because they know a whole lot. You hear Deacon at Charles Church? Tell him to come over here and see his mama sometime. Because she ain't got a choir singing for the Lord. But she's a prayer now. I'm going to see a daddy sometime. He said, honor. Y'all, that word honor in the Hebrew, it means porter, it means heavy. It means weighty. In other words, your parents should be heavy on your heart. Your parents should be heavy on your mind. In other words, don't take your parents lightly. If your parents are heavy on your heart, you'll call them. If they're heavy on your heart, you'll go back. Y'all ain't playing with me here. If they're heavy on your heart, you'll check them. 